God look after you? He did. He looked after every need that I had. He looked and after some I didn't too. know I needed. Wow. God is so good, Ruth. He is. Take we care of us. just have to trust in him. Oh, did. you were going to tell us another story about Elijah. I am. Oh, I Would you like wait. to hear it? Oh, Ruth. What do the kids need? Do they need some stuff first? They do. Shall we tell them? I think so. Okay. So excited. <laughs> Are you? Are I you? am too. Okay. So guys, for the story we're going to do today, you're going to do some stuff at home. And if you could do it while you watch me, that's fine. And watch Henry Pickle, because he helps. Well, they might have to do it after. Or you might have to do it mm. after in the kitchen. It depends. So you're going to need some flour, some cream, and some lemonade. And we have asked your mums and dads, and hopefully they might have it. If not, they might have something else that you can cook. Mm. Right. So can you remember what happened last week? I do. I do, Ruth. There was a big drought, and then there was no food. And then the king was very, very cross, and Elijah had to run away to a stream. And then, Ruth, and then birds. Birds. I'm a bird. By the way, I'm a bird. A birds came and fed him. Yeah. Milk and bread. But I remember the but. <gasps> what happened? What's the big but? The stream dried right up. So he had no water. Right. Well, when the water dried up, God, t God told Elijah to go to a place called Sidon. And I've got my Bible again, and I'm just going to turn the page, because look, there's the ravens taking meat and bread to Elijah. And then the stream dried up. So Elijah went for another walk. And he walked and walked until he came to a place called Sidon. When he got to Sidon, he was so thirsty. Because it was so hot and there'd been no water along the way, Henry Pickle. Whoa. So he saw a woman and he said to the woman, could you get me a drink, please? And the woman did. She went and got him a cup of water and, oh, that was so nice. That's so, so nice of the lady. Wasn't it? And then Elijah said to her, could you make me a little cake of um, bread and of flour and oil? Well, the woman's face kind of fell. Um, Why was that? I've only got enough food for me and for my child, my boy, for dinner tonight. And then we're going to have no more food either. Imagine and if I that. give you the bread, what am I going to give my son for his tea tonight? Yeah. Well, do you know what? Remember how God met all of Elijah's needs last week? Well, this time, he told Elijah to say to the woman, Don't worry. If you give me a cake of bread and oil to now, then there'll be enough for your son and you to have tea as well. Wow, the woman thought. Ooh. And she trusted God as well. And so she went and made Elijah a cake. She was obedient, Ruth. She really was. Yeah. Hey, would you like to make a cake? I'd love to make a cake, Ruth. Well, we're not quite going to make cakes. We're going to make scones. <gasps> I love, love, love scones, Ruth. Well, over here, I've had to do a little bit of getting ready first. Mm. So over here, I've got all my flour in the bowl. And I'm going to, Henry Pickle, do you want to tip the last bit in? Oh, I'd love to. Can you get Henry? it? Oh. Tip it away. Oh. Oh. Oh, do you need a help? Oh, oh. oh you did it! Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh Henry, never mind. Do we brush you off. Oh, I don't mind a bit of flour. <laughs> I don't either. Right, I'm going to take my cup out of there now. Right then, oops, a Daisy. Oh, what's that? I've dude? got some cream in a bottle. Oh. I don't know why I tipped it upside down. Just Give it a fun. shake sometimes. Give it a Give shake. It a shake. <laughs> oh, except if I shake it too much, mm. do you know what would happen? No. Nope. It would change. Oh, into butter? Yeah. Oh. You're very clever. So we put our cream, all of that bottle in. Oh. Just like that. Oh. Oh, let it drip out. There we go. And then I've got a special oh, ingredient. I'll give it to you, Ruth. Okay. <laughs> Henry! Oh, sorry, Ruth. You're a monkey. 
Oh my goodness. Don't shake the lemonade, kids. Don't shake the lemonade. I'm going to go really go. slowly. Oh. Oh, it's, it's all right, Ruth. It's oh, all right. it's because I let the gas out. So I'm going to measure my lemonade. And it's the same amount of cream and the same amount of lemonade. Oh. So all I have to do is fill up my cream bottle mm. like this. Fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. All the way up. And then I'm going to put that down there so it doesn't get knocked over. And I'm going to put the lid back on it. And I'm going to put my lemonade in there. Look at all those bubbles. Ooh, yummy, Ruth. Look at all those bubbles. And then I'm going to mix it up. Mix. So you mix, mix. it up, do you want to mix? I'll do a little mix. Mix it up, kids. Mix it up. Make sure. I don't know what it looks like, Ruth, but hmm. Well, kind of looks like goop. 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 That's what I call things that look like this. Goop. Yum. And you mix it and you mix it. Mm -hmm. You stir it around and mix it. And this is what the woman that was feeding Elijah would have done. She would have got her flour and her oil and she would have mixed it till it was all mixed up. And she'd have thought this is the last of her ingredients, Ruth. Yep. But she still did it. She still did it because she trusted God as well. And she trusted that Elijah was also trusting God. So, it's all mixed up. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? You're going to need a tray. You're going to need a You're tray. Gonna need a tray. You're going to need your mum and dad to make it into 12, like little balls, pieces? 12 pieces, I think. Of little balls? Yep. And then you can put it in your oven. You better use my oven, Ruth. Just pretend. Oh, just pretend. Okay, let's put it in your oven. Ready? Open the doors. Here's Henry Pickle's oven. And in it goes. And I'm going to put it in the back so we can pretend it's in the oven. Cooking for... Shut the doors. How long does it cook for, Ruth? Oh, about 10 to 12 minutes, Henry Pickle. Oh, that's not long. No, it's not long. I wonder how long it is. Um... Mm -hmm. That was a ready. quick. That was a quick ten minutes. Do you know what? We were a bit sneaky because I knew that a ten minutes looking, watching things bake is a long time. We made some earlier, Henry Pickle and I. Ooh. Can you pass them, please, Henry Pickle? You'll have to reach across there. Oh, heavy. reaching, reaching. Got it. Yep. Have you seen them, Henry Pickle? I've seen them. Show the kids. We only made nine. Because I could only count to nine this morning. <laughs> and our tray was a bit small. And our tray was a bit small. Do you want to taste one? I do. So here they are. You can take it out. Oh, I can break a bit off for Henry Pickle. Yeah. So this is what they look like. Careful eating there, Henry Pickle. Very good. There's some might crumbs. Just catch it. I'm all covered in flour. And look at this. I don't know. Oh, sorry, Henry Pickle. I normally almost knocked your story out. So, do you know what was really special about the flour and the oil that um, the woman in the Elijah's story in the Bible was? I don't, Ruth, but I wonder well, how long did that last? Three years, Henry Pickle. Every day, the woman Three went to her years. jar of flour and her jar of oil, and there was just enough flour and oil to feed her and her son and Elijah every day for three years. Three years, a long time. That's a lot of trust in God. That's what it teaches us. It Ruth. does. God met and it didn't give them too much. He met just what they needed to eat and stay well while there was a big drought on. And they had water and their special flour and oil cakes. Like we've got our special scones. And that's a lot of trust. God's so good, Ruth. He really he does is, look after he? us. He looks after us all the time. Well, that's the end of our story, Henry Pickle. I love that story, Ruth. Oh, thank you. It reminds me of all the times in the Bible God looks after his people. 
And yeah. he said, do you know, he says that we aren't even to worry. I do. And he says, look at the birds. That's me. I'm a bird. Yeah. And he says, we don't worry. No, do you worry, Henry, people? No. God no, provides see? for all my needs. Yeah. And he, he's given you a great beak that you can go and eat the grass and get some little fish out of the water. He has. And he says, we just need to ask him when we need things. Well, that is so true. Do you think we should pray? I think we should. Okay. Hey, yep. would you like to pray today? I'd love to pray today. Okay. Can I might have... hold your legs. Thank you. Because they, they wandered away. They were hiding. And I'll hold your legs and while I hold my hands. Okay. Shut your eyes, Ruth. Okay. Okay, kids, I hope you're ready. Eyes shut. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you provide for us. Thank you that you look out for us like you did for Elijah and that if we follow you and are obedient to you, you provide for us. Amen. Amen. Let's go eat the scones, Ruth. Okay. Let's go eat the scones. Okay. Bye, kids. Bye. 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 Bye.